So on the left uh, is tap water and on the right is Australian natural spring water. Uh, that's all it's written. I think it's Coles brand. Uh, and I've got here two meters. I've got a pH meter should tell us what the pH of the water is and I've got a ppm meter um, which will tell us the uh, dissolvable solids in the water which will tell us how many minerals are essentially in the water. So the pH of the spring water is 7.7 .7. See it move around a bit. Settling at 7.7. .7. Now I'll just clean that. And now I'll run it in the tap water. Leave it there for a sec. <clears throat> so that's settling at 8.3. So immediately there is a pH difference. And um, the other thing to note, so I've got my uh, PPM meter here, which I'll just take the cover off, turn on. So we'll do the one that is expected to be cleaner, which is the spring water. We see that's sitting on 136. So, um, you wouldn't expect it to be zero. Um, it's going to have some minerals in it because it's spring water. Um, sometimes your reverse osmosis water or rain water will have a very low ppm, but uh, your spring water is always going to have something in it. So that's the coal spring water reading. Clean that. back to zeros and now we'll run it on the tap water so surprisingly the tap water is only 96 um, we live in a fairly new area so all the pipe work coming into the area would be quite new as well um, so you'd expect a pretty good reading on the tap water and the tap water tastes pretty good too But um, yeah, so it certainly holds less minerals in the tap water than in the spring water um, For the purpose of brewing uh, I use spring water because I want the Water to have a neutral pH or as close to as possible, which is 7 uh, That spring water 7.7. .7, so that's what we're using but um, you could you could potentially use tap water and uh, realistically it's just the pH is going to be marginally higher um, it's not going to affect things too much so if you don't want to have to fork out for um, you know uh, 20 something litres of spring water which is not that expensive, it's about $8 um, then yeah just run tap water, plenty of people do and um, the brews still come out good <clears throat>